Hi everyone, Wally Nichols with the Asset Guidance Group weekly update for the week ending November the 26th, 2021. Hey, a lot of surprise this morning on Black Friday, so it turns out overnight uh, we had a, a, a bit of uh, unsettling news coming from across the sea. Started off in uh, South Africa, so the new variant uh, is grabbing hold over there. They compared that with information coming out of Israel, and this was this is some scant uh, data right now uh, that I want further analysis on and further confirmation of. But in Israel, they've changed the definition of fully vaxxed to all three uh, shots. So you had the first two rounds, and then you had the booster shot, and that counts as fully vaxxed. And there was a question as to whether or not being fully vaxxed would be uh, robust against this new COVID variant that is emerging out of South Africa. Now, this is probably uh, much ado about nothing as the data will set forth, but uh, Moderna, we've known since the beginning uh, of, of the mRNA uh, technology publication, Moderna says that they can be robust against any kind of new development along this front, well, don't let me overstate their words, but uh, at least this new variant, okay, uh, as they were with others like it, within six weeks, okay, so within two months, they can have the new recipe, if you will, uh, to focus on this, uh, on, on these types of uh, uh, evolution in the, in, in the COVID uh, situation. Uh, and then the question simply is one of, uh, of production ramp up. So that could take uh, another couple of months. So you're looking at probably two to six months here before uh, there's more vaccine available <laughs> that's even uh, tweaked to, to uh, control uh, these outbreaks. Again, uh, I, would, I would lean towards the school of thought that says COVID is becoming endemic and uh, not pandemic. The pandemic is we're emerging out of it. And uh, although stocks and equities took a pretty heavy hit today, I mean, you want to talk about the fear back on trade. Yields, the 10-year yields went from 170, as we had earlier in the week, closing down below 150 for a minute. I ended up closing back in the low 150s uh, uh, as the day wound to a close. And I'm, I'm cutting this uh, video just at the very end of the trading day. It's a short day today on Friday, November the 26th. But anyway, how do you view this? Well, it depends uh, on, on, on your uh, proclivities towards uh, <clears throat> living on fear information or looking at, at data uh, analysis and making a decision accordingly. Where we're at, uh, we look at this and, and, and say, hey man, it's Black Friday. And uh, there's certainly some sales on equity, so I do not ever see the economy in the next year going back to where we were in 2019 and early 2020. Uh, you've got a lot of favorable activities. We're in a rising rate environment. Uh, uh, financials, regardless of the way that they were hit today, I, I believe there's a lot of uh, opportunity than financials. Energy the, is, is still available. The price of West Texas Intermediate, where I grew up, still hovering around $70 a barrel. That, that industry was built out there on $60 oil since the mid to late 80s, okay? So that's been the case out there. So they're in good profit position. <clears throat> There's a lot of opportunity in those stocks. And let me tell you, there are a lot of still good total return stocks that are in that sector, okay? So you've you, you, you got to take a step back and from the noise and look at the opportunities that are available and, uh, and, and, and engage yourself accordingly. This volatility in the bond market simply highlights to me all the reasons that we say you need to come to us and let us find a way to win for you uh, in terms of controlling this volatility in your portfolio as well as finding you bond alternatives. Bonds, I think, are going to be done. The conventional fixed income play that we've lived with uh, for all these many years, I believe uh, it probably is going to be uh, out, of, uh, out of out of play, out of out, you know you want to say out of vogue, but it's really more than just a fad thing. It's really out of a necessity. It's really just going to be out of play off the table for probably the rest of our lives, probably for many of us, probably for the next twenty to thirty years. Okay, so that's uh, kind of where <clears throat> the markets ended up this week. I did a special article down below this week and talked to you about reasons why we use LIRPs 
as bond uh, as bond substitutes, as long term care substitutes, as well as being bond substitutes in certain times. Yeah, it, it has an aspect that certain of these plays have aspects of Swiss Army Knife for sure, but specifically for for des design for certain situations, why we like LIRPs to do that. But let me point out to you that just because an LIRP is offered by an insurance company, many people just turn that off immediately because they think, A, insurance companies are, are they're, they're distrustful and they just want to get your money, and B, they'll take anybody just to get those premium dollars. And let me warn you, nothing could be further from the truth. Many people, including myself, okay, many people have wanted to get product. I've seen it too many times coming through my door. They want to get something after it's too late and the companies won't underwrite them anymore. Okay, this is something that you need to get a grip on. <clears throat> you need to be really aware of the fact that if you could get in and you can qualify for these products, you need to take advantage of them now before the tax laws change and before your health changes because life tends to come at you at, uh, at, at just a fast pace. I mean, really didn't see this this development overseas coming to fruition to impact the markets. And this is the worst down day that we've had in the market since October of 2020. Didn't see this happening uh, this particular weekend, but yet here we are. The same thing can happen with your health at any point in time. It's not a matter of selling fear. It's not a matter of fear-based tactics. What it is is a matter of smart, prudent planning, looking for uh, a win and a certain vehicle that can get you there. And, but let me let me finish with this: if you can't get there because life's already dealt you with that hand, okay, and the underwriters just won't look at you anymore, we will find a way to win for you if you'll let us. Okay, it's merely a, a matter of speaking, communicating with us, working with us, letting us help you. And a rising tide lifts all ships, okay? Have a wonderful end to your Thanksgiving weekend. It's a long holiday, the longest holiday of the year. It's a great one. And we kick off the whole holiday season from here on out. We want to wish you the best of all of the season from Asset Guidance Group, Jared and I both, okay? We'll see you next week. Take care.